Okay, here we are, question 13. We're almost at the end of the paper. So these questions are starting to get a little bit tricky now. But I still think you can pick up marks on these. You shouldn't give them up, give up on them, because there's certainly there was a couple of tricky questions earlier in this paper. So you should uh, at least have a go at some of these. Now, you're given some information about kilograms and grams, and you're told that a skip contains half a tonne of newspapers. So one skip, it can hold... 500 kilograms, half a ton. So if one ton is a thousand, it can hold half a kilogram. Um, 500 kilograms, half a ton. But we also know that 200 grams, well, it's going to take five newspapers to make one kilogram. So we know that uh, if one newspaper is equal to 200 grams, that tells us that five newspapers. is going to equal to one kilogram. So that's a really key point. We've worked out that five newspapers makes one kilogram, and we can get 500 kilograms into a skip. So the only calculation we've got to do now is spot that we've got to do five times 500. So for every kilogram, we can get five newspapers. So five times 500 is 25 with two zeros on the end. So we can get 2,500 newspapers in a skip. And actually, although it looks quite complicated, that question actually ended up being really easy. We're only times it by five. You just had to spot that you could get five of these in there, and you had to spot that actually a skip could hold half of that. And then we're done.